Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Chelly and today I'm gonna be doing a candle haul. So I actually went to Bath & Body for their candle sale and I got 11 of them. So I got 11 candles. So for every candle that I show, I'm gonna be telling you guys a fact about myself just so you can get to know me since this is my first video. So before I go into my first candle, I'm gonna tell you guys a fact about myself. I am 24, so I turned 25 in February. And I don't know if I'm really excited about that birthday because 25 is half of 50, but you know, at least we're growing and we're getting older and we're still here, so that's a good thing, right? And the first candle today I'm going to show you is Spiced Apple Toddy. I already opened it. it. Smells really good. It has fragrance notes of warm apple brandy, spiced plum, tart cranberry cinnamon stick with essential oils. This one's a really good fall one. This is the one that... I got this is what it looks like fact number two I became a mom this year in May my daughter is six months now she's going on seven months and she is the best thing that has happened to me I cannot see my life without her now she has made me into a better person and I just can't wait to see her grow like every time that I see her do something new it's just like amazing to me what little babies can do already at such a young age my second candle today is leaves so i got this one because i had got it a couple months ago and it smells really really good another fall one this one has fragrance notes of crisp red apple golden nectar warm clove spice with essential oils also so these two fall ones um i have already for next year so that i don't have to buy them at full price because buying candles for $24.50 is crazy. Especially when you can just get them on sale at $9.50. Plus, I'll tell you guys later the coupons that we applied. Because I went with my friend. It was insane. I was at the register like, oh, that's it? Let me get more. <laughs> my third fact is that I am pregnant. So, right now we are expecting a baby boy. My kids will be 11 months apart. So I know it sounds crazy back to back, but honestly, my husband and I both wanted it that way. We're just like, okay, if we're going to have two kids right now, we're going to have them back to back. And then we'll wait for the next ones. If we are able to have more kids, we're going to have two more in about two, three years. So hopefully everything goes as planned. My third candle is hot cocoa and cream. So a lot of people might not like this one because it smells a lot like hot chocolate. It's literally like hot chocolate in wax. It's bomb though. To me, if you turn this on in a room, it's like for you to just be chilling all day, under your blankets, watching Disney Plus, and not doing anything else. This candle will make you want a hot chocolate. It is fragrance notes of Decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, mini marshmallows with essential oils. This one is really good. Fact number four, I'm married. So my husband and I got married this year in March. We're going on one year of marriage. And it actually is the best thing. Also, other than having kids, being married to someone who you truly love is the best thing ever. I always tell him like, oh, you were mine before, but now you're mine, mine, like forever. You can't go anywhere, <laughs> even if you want to. <laughs> My fourth candle is Snowflakes and Citrus. Frozen lemon peel, fresh squeezed mandarin, winter white mango, and also with essential oils. This one's really cute for like bathroom or like your room if you're you have a certain way of decorating stuff for the holidays this one smells kind of like summery because of the citrus but the fact that it has the winter white mango I feel like that's what makes it feel like a Christmas candle and the little picture that's on it my fifth fact is that I am Mexican and Nicaraguense so my dad is the one that's Mexican my mom is the one that's from Nicaragua so I have half and half and I was born here I was actually born in Wana Creek but I am fluent in Spanish and English and when I speak with my mom or her family 
I speak very Nicaraguense. So I have like an accent. And when I'm with my dad's family, I speak very Mexican, just like traditional Spanish. So if you ever hear me talk with my mom, you'll know what I'm talking about. Or if anyone has Nicaragüense family or friends, you guys know what I'm talking about when I mean accent. And Nicaragüenses are really loud, so we tend to just be the loud ones in the room. The fifth candle that I have is named Winter Daisy, but it honestly is more like a flower and summer scent. Um, this is what it looks like. I have never seen this one actually or smelled it, so it really intrigued me today when I saw it and when I opened it to smell it. It has fragrance notes of white petals, sweet lemon, creamy sandalwood with essential oils. This one, um, it kind of smells like perfume, but it's not too strong, so I feel like it's a really good candle to burn around the summer or springtime. Fact number six. I love sour cream. It's honestly something that I almost have to eat everything with. I can eat a bowl of rice or beans just with sour cream and I'll be fine. But sour cream is my favorite and anyone who knows me or anyone watching this already knew that about me because I swear if I go to someone's house or a family member's house, they usually have that sour cream on the table for me. Like, hey, here you go, it's here. Candle number six. This is a new fragrance that they have and they brought out this year. I don't know if I'm gonna say it right. Gingham? Gingham? I don't know. But if you guys have seen this, this kind of gives me like kitchen candle vibes because of the little plaid that it has on it. But the fragrance notes are blue freesia or freesia, white peach, fresh clementine with essential oils. This one smells really good. It's a, It would be a good um, kitchen or bathroom candle. Fact number seven. I was pescatarian for three years, so I didn't eat meat. Um, I didn't eat chicken, uh, red meat. The only kind of meat that I ate were shrimp and fish, uh, crab, lobster, any seafood. Uh, it actually helped me maintain a weight that I was happy at. And honestly, I'm not really someone who loves meat to say that, oh my god, I need to eat it every day. So the fact that I went three years without meat actually tells me that I can do it again and I actually do want to do it again. But it's kind of hard because my husband really likes meat. But I told him, I was like, well, maybe we can do that, be pescatarian during the week. And then on weekends, then, you know, you can go ahead and have like your steak or something because you really love steak. My seventh candle is uh, aromatherapy one it's eucalyptus and spearmint supposedly for stress relief i don't know if when i turn this on it'll relieve my stress but at least it'll smell good and this one doesn't tell me what it has it just says eucalyptus oil and spearmint oil so i don't know if you guys have tried this one it smells really really good anything aromatherapy I really don't know if like it works. I've had candles before and like I just turn them on and I really like how they smell But I haven't really had like a different feeling like that stress relief feeling Fact number eight um, People who know me again kind of like the sour cream one know this about me that Lion King is my favorite movie. I can watch that movie any day as many times in one day my husband hates watching it with me because I literally know it word for word. He's just like, oh, why are you watching if you already know it? I'm just like, it's my favorite movie. And actually, my baby shower with my baby girl was um, Lion King theme. And my eighth candle is Mahogany Teakwood. So I got this one for my husband. He wanted me to get some like manly ones. So I saw another one before that was... Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it, it's flannel, it's called flannel, but that candle really smells like like a man, like like a country man, I don't know. If you guys have smelled it before, let me know. But this is the one that I found today for him, Mahogany Teakwood. I really love the design on it, I feel like it doesn't look so manly even though it smells manly, and 
and it doesn't smell too strong like it's manly but it's still something that you can use in your house it has fragrance notes of rich mahogany black teakwood dark oak frost the frosted lavender with essential oils so a lot of the candles now are made with essential oils i don't know which essential oils i should probably list them so that we know but they still smell really good so my ninth fact even though i'm not working right now i am licensed as a registered dental assistant so i actually started as a receptionist at the office that i used to work at and then i worked my way up to become a registered dental assistant so i didn't go to a dental assistant program to become registered i actually just did it through work which was a lot cheaper for me and then a lot less time consuming as well because i didn't have to actually take the time off of work to go to a program my ninth candle my favorite one i actually already had one of these and i think i have another one but it is rose water and ivy please tell me you guys like this one too because i i do not know anyone that doesn't like this one it's it's like the bomb the fragrance notes are soft rose petals rain kissed ivy spring musk with essential oils this one just smells like you're taking a bath in rose petals this one i usually put in my daughter's room um well in her little nursery she's not in there while it's on but um I, I always put it in her nursery because it's such a girly candle that i feel like it's the best place to put it at unless i have it like out in my room during the spring then i'm like oh okay then it can go in our room too fact number 10 i am 5'3 i'm not too tall not too short kind of the average height my sisters are all taller than me my little sister is almost taller than me too she's 12 and she's like right here i'm like what's going on so i don't know if they gave me something different to eat or they just didn't give me enough nutrients when i was little <laughs> but i stopped growing when i was in seventh grade i was five three in seventh grade and i just that was it and my tenth candle is fresh cut lilac you guys another flowery one but this one also this one you can have during the spring or during the summer something that you can use year-round as well if you want it has fragrance notes of lilac bouquets dewy greens soft spring air with essential oils this one smells really good i think the first time today was the first time i smelled this one and i was like i have to get it and we're down to my last fact fact number 11 i have actually been in an autopsy before front row holding organs and everything I was taking a CSI class when I was in college because I'm really interested in like forensics and crime scene and all that stuff. So our teacher was like, okay, you guys might think that you're ready for it. Like you might go in there, you know, with an open mind. But when we're in there, if you change your mind, if you just feel nauseous, if you feel like throwing up, please let me know so you can leave the building because I don't want to distract the experts from doing their job. So. We went in, we actually put masks on, we had like this whole like protective suit and it was really interesting to me how the body is, we're basically getting dissected. They open you up, they, with pliers, with like garden pliers, I'm doing this because it's garden pliers, they're really big ones. They use that to break your ribs so that they can get to your organs. Once they get to your organs, they take them out. So they make sure to check those and then for your brain, they actually cut right here and they pull half of your skin forward and they pull the other half downward so that they're able to have space to cut open with the saw. So they cut it open and they take your brain out. So by looking at your brain, they can sometimes find out why the person passed away um, sometimes I believe they said if there are blood clots in the brain at that time the person died from an overdose so it's just um, very interesting so if you're someone that's into crime scene investigation if you're into being a detective anything like that I do suggest that you do an autopsy first um, or at least be in one 
so that you can see how you react to it not everyone reacts the same so if you're able to handle that i feel like you're able to handle anything on the field even though some things may get to you more than others and my 11th candle last but not least is rose and vanilla so this is another aromatherapy one this one kind of smells like the rose water and ivy but it's um you could smell the vanilla in there and this one also doesn't tell us what is in there other than rose oil feelings of connection and self-confidence Van vanilla extract encourages relaxation so also another one that i have had before and i've turned it on but i haven't really felt that difference or that um connection self-confidence or relaxation so i actually just bought six candles and my friend gifted me five candles so she bought five candles for me and she bought that as my christmas present so that's it for my haul you guys and for my facts please let me know what you think about my first video if you guys can hear that it's my husband in the background i don't know what he's listening to he always has his videos at 100 percent volume and it's so annoying but i am so thankful for my friend for gifting me these candles i bought some on my own and then i also actually got free gifts um i don't know if it was because of the coupons that we use or the purchases that we made but i got a free little hand cream so i got this one for my husband it's in the scent graphite and the scent graphite it's a cute little one usually five dollars and then i got two hand sanitizers one japanese cherry blossom and then one fresh water for men so i got that one for my husband and this one for myself so i highly suggest getting candles when they're on sale if you buy them when they're 24 dollars girl you got money because that's crazy please give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it also please subscribe and also leave a comment down below if any of the candles that i got are scents that you like if there are any that you're like girl why'd you get that like you're crazy that does not smell good because i also want to know if any of the facts that i stated are relatable to you or if you have any questions about them please let me know down in the comments and i will gladly answer them leave me any video suggestions any challenges that you would like to see me do i can do them with my husband or with any of my friends thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you next time bye she's looking at my lights and my candles